What up guys, it's Moose. Um yeah. Sorry it took a long minute to get back to part two. You know, life happens. I was organizing all kinds of things, work, stuff, whatever, it's none of your business. Anyways, uh mm, let's see, there's a few things I need to touch upon. Like in part one the the important thing to take from the first lesson was that you can sample anything but you know the challenge of sampling anything is it's not always as clear cut as it seems like you can always <clears throat> get the tempo of your title track and you know get it get it warped and therefore it's pretty straightforward from there you can cut it and you know manipulate it however you want but what happens when you know you, you want to sample something that's a little older it's a little more loose you know anything that's a little jazzy or funky or basically anything that's played by like live musicians because sometimes they're not always like locked onto grid like a lot of electronic music um, yeah so the technique the the trick really is to not so much focus on the tap tempo and getting the whole track warped because that's gonna be a waste of your time. What you really want to do is just get the parts that you want. So it's a it's a slightly different skill, like you know, at least application wise. You just want to take the parts you want and like you know you you can. I usually approach it like bar by bar. And. If you've used Tractor, I mean, whatever, if you, if you use Ableton, you, you'd know that to, to get to your, well, to, to get the bar, you just try to find a downbeat and, you know, count it yourself manually. And it doesn't matter, like, what tempo you're at. Like, once you get it, just fit it into whatever tempo. Whether it sounds good or not, well, that just depends on whatever tempo you set. You know, and if it doesn't sound good, just adjust and... You know, maybe the song will have to change, or maybe your sample will have to change. Alright, so, this is what I mean. I've got a song by Charles Mingus. Um, yeah. There's a lot of drums, a lot of really nice drums here. Let's try to get a bar out of this. See, as you can see, it's not warped, and, like, my tempo's at 100 BPM. I don't know what what the tempo is for this track is it doesn't really matter what matters is I just want to find a bar Alright, so I just changed the color so we could see, like, i pretty sure that's a, well, that's perhaps two bars, I don't know. So, for now, let's just copy that over. That on silent. Now, within 100 BPM that I've already set here, we can see that this two bar loop kind of goes a little above two bars so you can, there's a few things you, oh there's two things you can do you can either just warp it and just fit it to the grid or you can just adjust your tempo like this and you know get as close as you can 144 to 146 so we have about 90 BPM here a little more oh look there we go now let's give it a listen, see how that sounds. There you 
have it. There you have it. That's warping something that's <laughs> without knowing what the tempo was. Just get the part you want, get the bar, fit it in, and from here you can just warp it and do the same thing. You can cut it up however you want. Go crazy. La 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 la. And that's it for Hip Hop Sampling 102. Yep, it really is that easy. So go ahead and sample whatever the hell you want. Doesn't matter. If you have skill, you have skill. If you don't, well, you know, keep practicing. Good luck. Later, guys.